first off, what is risk? Risk is the likelihood of a hazard to cause harm and the severity of the possible consequences. A risk matrix is a tool during risk assessment to define the level of risk of tasks by considering the category of probability against the category of consequence severity. A risk matrix is designed to help you minimize the probability of potential risk and to optimize employee safety. Essentially, a risk matrix is a visual representation of the risk affecting employees and to enable companies to develop a mitigation strategy. When performed properly, the hazard assessments will feed critical information not only into your safety management system, but also into the other management programs at your workplace. There are many different types of risk matrices in use with varying degrees of complexity. They can have many different categories and different grades of risk. They may also have different ways of defining categories of likelihood and consequence. So, the risk matrix and the categories used can vary and therefore need to be relevant to the situation and context in which the risk assessment is done. Regardless of this, risk matrices follow the same principle. Although risk matrices have their limitations such as being subjective, not being consistently interpreted, and not taking time frames into consideration, they are a useful and practical tool to categorize risk. For the example today, we have chosen a risk matrix that ranges from 1 to 5 for three different categories. This matrix is based on numbers rather than color codes. With the use of one style of matrix, you could have green, yellow, and red colors to indicate a corresponding risk level. This style would have probability or likelihood on one end of the scale and severity for the other category. To go one step further, we're going to use another style based on number ratings that also includes the category of frequency, freeze program. Let's look at another example that we chose for this video. On the first row, this risk matrix rates the probability of an incident occurring ranging from rare to certain. On the second row, the consequential severity of an incident ranging from first aid to death. And on the third row, the frequency of the task being performed ranging from once a month to constantly. When combined, this provides us with the relative risk level, which then would be multiplied by the number of workers affected to give the total relative risk level of the specific task being assessed. So let's take a look at some examples, starting with the forklift operator. Now for this one, we're going to give the potential a four out of five. Severity, we're going to give it a four out of five as well. And then for the frequency of this job task, we're going to give it a five out of five. We're, we'll say it's happening all the time. Now you multiply those numbers together, you're getting your relative risk level as stated before, which in this case will be 80. Now we're not done there. Now you have to multiply that by the number of workers affected. So how many forklift operators might you have? For this example, let's say 10. So we're going to take the relative risk level of 80, multiply that by the number of workers, 10, to give you a total risk rating of 800. Let's look at another example, angle grinder operators. For this one, we'll say there's 15 operators. The potential, we'll give it a four out of five. Severity, this time a three out of five. And for frequency, again, we'll say constant, five out of five. That'll give you a risk rating of 60. Multiply that by the number of workers being 15, that gives you a total risk rating of 900, which actually will be placed above the forklift operator's risk rating. Using the risk matrix, the priority for completion of a job hazard analysis can be determined. The higher the total risk rating, the higher the priority for completion of a job hazard analysis for that task. It is important that the efforts of the organization be put where they will have the most impact. That's why completion of a job hazard analysis must be prioritized. The purpose of assessing risk 
is to ensure that sufficient controls are put in place to prioritize further risk reductions and ensure risks are as low as reasonably practicable. There are many different types of risk matrices in use with varying degrees of complexity. They can have many categories and different grades of risk. They may also have different ways of defining categories of likelihood, consequence, and frequency. So, the risk matrix and the categories used can vary. Find out what works best for your company. Resume program.